Some local students are getting a hands-on lesson in free markets. At Quincy Elementary in Topeka, the cafeteria has been transformed into a production line. These students are getting a real-world dive into the marketplace. They're assembling products they intend to sell to their classmates, from candy bags to clear slime, crunchy slime, colored slime, and magnetic slime. But you add contact solution as you're going. Clearly, the fifth grade market is saturated with slime, but before they could start making their messy products, they had to make the case that their product could be successful. They had some guiding questions like, uh, what's your customer base going to be? What location are you going to be selling at? And then once they decided on a product, they had to look up materials and costs for everything that they needed. After they made their case, the school lent the students money to buy supplies, money they'll pay back from their profits. A small baggie of slime is a dollar, but if it's clear, it's a dollar fifty. And if they do make a profit, the students get to split the money, but the lessons go beyond making a few extra bucks. Figuring out what or how to improve and what you need to do when there is failure so you can do better mm -hmm. next time. And I think just in general, thinking about money and budgeting and how much money you have and what's your priority for what you're spending it on. A lesson that certainly makes a lot of sense.